Here we go. In the white, the host side, and that's the match here with the serve. New setter on court, Elif Sahin replacing Maya Ogjenovic, who played in the opening game against Praia for the Turkish side. And they go up against the Panthers of Prosecco Gokimo, Kukan Eliano. Put the first point on the board, the Italians in the yellow. Their Swedish scoring machine, Isabel Hack, going straight to work. 24 points in the opening game and make it two points already in this game. What a head to head between Hack and Boscovic. Two of the best opposites in the world right now. We've got Iganu here as well at the tournament. It makes for an absolute feast in the final four, which is where both these teams are going. Boscovic gets in on the action, determined not to be outdone. The big left hand, Serdian, captain. This is Atsubashi Club, puts her first point on the floor in style. Mike Arumba, this is going to kick off this afternoon if they keep going like this. Out of the back line, Plummer just shoves it wide. Not a bad swing, pretty good rhythm to that attack, but goes wide of the court. One change for Corneliano today. Slubiak coming in for Squatchi. Two changes for Izasubashu, the woman in the picture, setting instead of Serbian veteran Maya Ogjanovic. Comes Elif Sain. So through the middle, Meza Arici is in for Laura Herman. Good vision from Robin de Kraft. She used it all there. Lovely set from Bowash, but she could see position one was open. Sahid defending very shallow. Oh, good serve. Come off, Hande Baladin, particularly well there. The 25 year old Turkish international outside hits it. Watching the two teams warm up, not that you can go on the warm up. As most of you would have found out from games gone by, but certainly Corneliano looked more relaxed. This last of us uh, finding very little rhythm at the net. Straight into rhythm is Boscovic, that's way out of system, and it's another three metre high contact point. That's right up the basketball ring. Ball into the middle. Well, he seems to tip. A decent block from Jack is up, and Eliana had to go again. Plummer. Oh, again, she's contacting the block early. And it's slowing the ball down. This time out of the back line. Hark. Puts it away. That might have been going wide. I say from the reaction of the coach and the players around it. sessions for quite a while you pick up those good habits good pass from Plum nice high feed for Hart but brilliant blocking to slow it down can't put it away out of the back line Boscovic straight into the block and that will do 
the Canelliano players a lot of good. They will be desperate to shut Boscovich down early. It looks like it's Huck that's got all of it. Big, strong left arm. She stops her opposite, opposite. Cook bumped wide by Monica Di Gennaro, the Libro in the blue shirt for Caneliano. That's another one. He's flirting with the sideline. Boscovich played it again. Three point cushion is restored by the Italians. Reckless start. Catherine Plummer to serve. Good serve. Simbiak forced into action. Veronkova takes the out assisted ball and hits it well. Good defence from Cook. Boscovich out of the back line gets slowed down again. Bowash looking for options. Goes Plummer. And it's come back again. Wow. We're watching two teams here right at the top of their game. And the Panthers will be delighted with the start they've made against the Tigers. Nudging 20 seconds for that last rally. It's high octane stuff. Daniele Santarelli revealing just how important this game is. to go in this tournament for these two teams so coaches keeping their power to try just wants to get his team moving into a higher gear but they're playing well just being outplayed at the moment by Corneliano with some terrific blocking there's our VIP area Turkish volleyball federation put on a marvellous show here on the side so that's the right here in the host club to serve again. Handy lead this. Canelliano. And it's just got a little bit better. Boscovich out of the back lines. Thump that ball. And it's come straight off the monster block and straight back into the face of Veronkova. That was Huck. Second block for Huck then. On Boscovich. And she's winning the head-to-head -head at the moment. The Serbian. Go and Dutzabash's way. It's going to be challenged, I think. We get our first video check here. Daniele Santarelli wants to look and see if there was a bit of space invasion. I thought I saw him signalling for a video check. But it's been waved away. Kissa with the serve, good serve, tests Plummer, Huck from way off the net, doesn't get enough on that, Boscovic defends her, Veronkova is roofed out of sight, Huck is uh, living up to her nickname right now, the Swedish scoring machine is racking the points up, oh the technique is just amazing, and she looks properly up for the fight today, this is the 23 year old Swede. Four points in the opening game, took the MVP for Vaki Fang and their success last year. It's a tournament that Isabel Huck just loves. Let's not count out Tiana Boscovich just yet. Serve error then from Marina Lubian, the blocker starting today ahead of Squatchini. Brilliant, just superb. Boa, she's opening things up very nicely here. But she's got the serve reception to do it. Right on her head. All options available. And the crowd running some very nice interference there for Hunt. Pass. Distribution just 
a little too low for that swing for Beza. Well, I do think that uh, Fahad Akbash is going to have to consider his options. Particular approach to matches, they'll have a game plan that they want to execute. Having beaten Vaki Bank in the Turkish League recently, maybe they don't mind meeting them in the semi-finals. But if things keep going like this, I wouldn't be surprised we see Maya Ogjanovic coming out to the court. Oh, she looks so beautifully calm in her setting at the moment. Really Loads again. It's a good ball away. Moskovic can't put it down. Beautifully defended by Plummer. This time Veronkova cuts the angle and cuts it nicely. The MC straight on it. The here comes the boots. The spike. Musical accompaniment. The Russians killed. But 8 and 14 down. This is the start the Tigers were looking for. A brilliant pass, easy kill, same spot. X marks the spot for Robin DeCraft twice now. She's managed to just very carefully position that ball into deep one. It's a space that should be defended by the backcourt setter, but very often they just sneak a little bit into court. Moskovic, hard shot, brilliant defense from Di Gennaro. and very good joust. Plummer beats Boscovic. And at the moment, Zasebasha's superstar is not being allowed into the game. Eliano playing a very, very good match here at the moment. Early doors still. Now they're going to have a look at this. Video check called by Ferhat Akbaj. He's going to see if Plummer's hand was on the ball last. Initially looked at face value, it looked as if she had managed to joust that off of Boscovic, but very often as the ball comes off the block, the hitter's fingers are still in touch with the ball a little longer than the blockers. It's almost an optical illusion, and uh, Sasabashi are hoping that that is the case and that it was actually plumb that threw that out of bounds. to be absolutely sure about Akbash is reasonably confident but either way it's a chance to just slow things down you get two challenges per set if you win them you keep them but we very often see coaches just burning one and using it almost as an extra timeout because if it takes a while to check the video footage the video referee has to find the clip first of all then it has to be closely inspected frame by frame Super slow mo form. So you can actually get quite a long delay to the game. Or if you play, even if you lose the challenge. The other players, Mickey Warden, we watch for them to talk to Daniele Santarelli about at the moment. They're playing so well. Here we go, the last touch is who? There we go. So the fingers are on the ball from Plummer. And that means that the ball and the point goes to the host side. Can't argue with that. That's why Santarelli has accepted the decision. Video evidence is conclusive. Very good challenge. Berhard Akbash got a little delay to the game, got a point for his team, and now they can draw a line under what's happened so far and try and restart from here. 9.15 sounds a bit better than 8.16. For the briefest, briefest of seconds before the ball's knocked out of court by Basin. 
team night from Zoom. For Bucky Park. The experience and passion that the fans have for the sport here. It's right up there with what you would see in Brazil. They can be as passionate as they want at the moment. Sebastian fans are not seeing much joy in this match for their players. And uh, Baladin into the block. Timeout called. Bad Abbash and Veneliano storm away to a 17-9 lead. Pretty sure I heard Maya Ogenovic's name mentioned. That's already a Jack Bash putting his starting rotation together for set two. Not bothering to talk to his players on that particular timeout. He's not back to the other coaches and the players themselves thinking purely about who's on court in the next set. I think we'll see Laura Herman. Belgium through the middle. I'd be amazed if we don't see Maya Vienovic replacing Helen Sutton. Craft to serve. Corneliana running away with set one. Put away, just. Line. Now, there's a server that can recover the seven or eight points that she needs. This is the person to do it. It's the pitch of guards and ridiculous service runs. But that one ballooned over the baseline. There's no rhythm at all at the moment. Now, the Sasabashi performance. With Corneliano right now. Another problem ball. Turns into a freebie. De Gennaro with a beautiful pass. And nicely done by Plummer. Just elevates and extends to get that contact point as high as she can. Two metres and one tall is Catherine Plummer, so when she makes the contact high, blockers are going to be under pressure. Today he's got a few changes up his sleeve potentially as well. So, Laura Hammond makes her entrance a little earlier than we expected, as does Maya Ogenovic. So rather than start the next set with new players on court, Akbash has decided to give a few players a bit of time out there. So he has Sahin has come in as well by the looks of it. For Hande Baladin. Belgian middle. 29 year old Laura Heaven is on court. She played well in game one. As did Ogenovic, and there we go. <laughs> when the service has been resumed straight into it. Wonderful ball fired by Ogenovic on the reverse. Chakisal. Perfect spot. It's just a terrific contact. Two on the slide. Next time you're in the sports hall, look up at the regulation basketball net, and that's where the players are contacting the ball there and above. Well, to be honest, right. Amazing, isn't it? What a couple of changes can do. Kisal making two points in a row. Another happy pass. And a big swing from Catherine Plummer using Veronica's block very, very well. Well, this is Corneliano's to lose, that's for sure. In fact, didn't even go near the block, just planted it on the line. I like that look from Veronica to Simbi to inquire as to where the Libro was. Free net, beautiful set. Game's woken up. Really good. And new player on court, Samantha Fabris, the Croatian opposite, puts it down. So no Boscovic out there. That'll change, I'm sure. We'll be all the way back 
round two, the next set of rotations we start. Yafrak Erchez is in. Your old wing spiker. Was playing in Poland. Well, with no side out game to speak of, it's very difficult to generate your own atmosphere at the service line. One tends to follow from the other, so good regular side outs. You kind of know you're going to be able to roll through your surge. It just takes a bit of pressure off the shoulder. Which is exactly what's happening here for Canelliana. They're serving hard. Well, good block. Cracking block. Kelsey Cook getting into the action. The American shutting down. The new opposite, Fabrice on court. It's really good block organisation for Eliana. That's been the most impressive part of their performance. And Isabel Huck has, has gone largely quiet. She's not had to do much at all in the last 10 minutes or so. Love it. 22-13 up, and he's still not happy, Santanelli. The opposition have managed to take it to 14. It's a good hit from Yucca. Fabrice replacing Boscovich. That won't be the case in the next set. I'm sure Boscovich will be back out on the floor. Because they need it to try and slow down the woman that's just killed the ball. Isabel Hack is not going to need any second invitations with a seam like that to hit through. Just served over past Delvin by the crop. Goes back to Cook, tries to work it out and off the block. And this time just breezes straight past the block and into court. Well, I don't think many of us were expecting quite this result in set one. The Tigers are getting humbled here. It's the Panthers that are growling. Good try. And the reading that second ball from Maya Ogjanovic, but he can pace on it to beat the Libro. Use that a few times today. Nine set points then to Cornelia. And that'll do. Serve ace, shanked by Kelsey Cook. The last thing Daniele Santarelli wants is to see the opposition get a bit of momentum towards the back end of a set that his team have dominated. Pass from Cook. In fact, it's a brilliant pass. What a hit! What a pick up from Cindy. And again, Fabrice straight into the net. They're going to review this surely. The referee says this didn't touch the block. We'll see if the video check confirms that is indeed the case. Very often when it's close to the top of the net, take it will roll up and touch the blocker's arms. But this may have been just too late. Well, whichever way this point goes, Canaliano have handed out an absolute battering in set one. In fact, it was nothing to do with that. It was ball in or out. So it is a successful challenge. Very well played by Ferha Akbash. Apologies from the referee, who is just as reliant on technology as we are and the players and coaches are. And it's a handy point. Kill required, and Corneliano just struggling a bit here. Too far, brilliant retrieve. What a retrieve from Maya Ogjanovic. That's wonderful setting for the Serbian veteran. Under serious pressure there, and she's got some beautiful hands on that. And then a very clever, cheap tip from Salia Zayn. Well, this is the momentum that Santarelli wanted to guard against. They found themselves a service target, fortunately, 
the American Kelsey Cook comes back with force. 25-18. Not quite as impressive as it could have been, but it's still impressive. And Prosecco, Dokimoko, Corneliano take a one-set lead over Ezar Sebastian Dinovitz, Istanbul. Go then with set two. Great start from the team in yellow. For the second Dokimoko Caneliano picking up the first set 25-18. We're underway with set two. Good effort. The first point is on the board for the hosts. Club, Istanbul were rather put to sleep in set one the Tigers didn't get to roar at all especially not their star player Tiana Boscovic quite Kraut looking for that position one again well patrolled and very well put away and that will do for starters first two points on the board for the home side that's what Boscovic can do good at going back to a player that may just have failed to put the ball away. The expectation of world-class players don't tend to miss twice. Kraft proving that that is indeed a on occasion. Another play by Maja who does start along with Laura Hammond. 
get the job done eventually. And uh, Valadini's back on, so this is the starting lineup for Ezad Baku that took the game away from Dentil Raikoubi. He's in inside so impressively on day one. Massive 3-0 rubbing their Brazilian opponents. This is the side that we thought we'd see starting this match, but it wasn't the case. That will do nicely. Well, it's an infringement from the backcourt attacker. You have to take off from behind the three-meter line, the attack line, and you just saw there, Isabel Hunt's toe touching that line, making it a fault when you spotted by the officials. Well, out of all the games we've seen so far, this is the game that really should go comfortably beyond three sets. a video check called by Daniele Santarelli and I think he knows that he's going to lose it but he doesn't have to blow a time out early on but pretty uh, conclusive didn't it from the video evidence there we go it's only a tickle on the line from Hunt's toe but anything on that line is enough opening set from Caneliano and an absolute stinker of a start to set two. That's what you get with world-class teams out on the court. It's very difficult to get into the zone and stay in the zone. You'll be nudged out of it by your opponents. And are often really comfortable these incredible pro players learn to cope with. And going after Kelsey Cook with everything they've got at the moment. Stand up to that challenge. Good pass in. The craft gets a third ball in this set. She puts it away. Two out of three. That's the song that goes. It's long. I'll hand it by Ladin. And it's the last thing that the bus you need is for them to return to the rather sketchy rhythm of the, of the first set. Good to serve, two points in it. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I do love that optical illusion that gets caused by a setter who's delivering a ball that the opposition blockers have no idea about. Didn't have a clue where that one was going. Serbian teammate, but Jana Boskovic making the most of the fact that most defenders will be on their heels when she comes steaming in. And therefore, there's plenty of room just over the top of the block. She get on a service run here. Two or three points from Boskovic would be useful. Oh, brilliant. Uh, Kelsey Cook is getting a bit of a roughing up at the moment from these Ezatsubashi servers. That's a terrific case. 28 kilometers per hour. That is testing human human reaction and movement time to the limit. Beautiful pass from Vigenaro into the net. The plumber. 
Turkish side are running away with set two. This happened to Canelliano yesterday against Brian Livy. They kept going four or five points down and happy to recover each time, which they did for their 3 0 win. It's going to be as easy against the Zasabashi. being set the showdown we thought we were going to get here this one could go the distance today very nice suddenly the Tigers look like a different team Maya Ogenovic has had a lot to do with that running a really stable offence fast sets up right as well. The Paneliano pass is not as good as it was. Well played. Sabah just trickling that down the back of the hands of Barokova. Plummer shanking the ball. They're under a lot of pressure. So keep an eye on the bench. Alexa Gray will probably be the institution that Santanelli would go for. Slide ball around the reverse part of the court. Very good from uh, Jack Nissal. Lovely movement. And that one legged take off the other time he seemed to do that. Makes it better than one. Well, jumping is concerned. All the serves going in at the moment for Zasabashi. That's terrific defense. Three ball comes over. They go again. And another brilliant pick up. Oh, just went a little too far and allowed Plummer to make the block. But two terrific defensive touches. And this one. And a Baladin. Just amazing. And then a flat out one on one defense. Little blocker to middle blocker. Lubian cranks it. Jack Kissar digs it. We like those head to heads, I tell you. Those of you that remember Boscovich, oh, 104 kilometers per hour. She, she hit a 111 kilometer ball the other day. 104 is warming it up nicely. For those of you that remember Boscovich when she first made her debut for Serbia all those years ago, she'll remember how inconsistent she used to be. Brilliant when she was brilliant. That runs where she didn't influence the game. That seems to have changed now. that allows her to keep delivering. Not quite happened in set one, but it's certainly happening in set two. Big serve, really big serve, and it's an ace for Marina Lubian. Just like Squacini, the middle blocker she's replaced, she's got a hell of a serve. And straight into the corner, and then Baladin left it. Float serve toss, she bounced it just long. Good serving though, might have disturbed a bit of rhythm. Now here's a here's a call to just try and stabilize things a little bit in the back court. So the secondary Libro, Yelena Peracati, is in for Caneliano. Just to try and help with the pass. Another one, what a piece of defensive brilliance from Simga. She's on it again. Oh, genius. Such a shame they couldn't put that away. Well, the Tigers playing out of their skins at the moment, making it very difficult for the Panthers to put the ball away.
stunning hit from Hart in the end. She continues to build her points tally. But it feels like we're in for the long ride here. Boscovic works it off the hands and away. Very difficult to keep the greats out of the game for too long. On the way back, she's been quiet today. She hasn't particularly exuberant Boscovic. She seems to be concentrating really hard on finding her form. She's found in set two. Good touch. good and, and the problem is always the same when Boscovic comes in the defenders think it's going to be hit very very hard and deep and so they are deep and any finesse causes a real problem it's like that should have been cooked ball but he's waiting for the bigger shot terrific sir overpass is gathered beautifully put away hand it Having had a tough time of it in the opening set, he is now providing a very nice accompaniment to the work of Boscovic and Voronkova. Zasabashu oh. flying away with this second set. Timeout called by Daniele Sandarelli, who is certainly on our way to one all at the moment. Those of us that don't speak fluent Italian or Turkish, we are in the luxurious position of coaches speak to their players in English. Both sides of the net, it's being made pretty obvious there. Santanelli wants for his players, and an interesting finish to that. Do you want to win? If you let balls hit the floor that easily, there's a question mark over whether you do. He knows the actual answer to that. He knows his players are desperate to win this match. Sometimes it's a journey rather than a sprint. It's a good rally. It's a bit of a mess out there, but finally sorted out by Catherine Plummer. Done. Very good cut down the line to beat Boscovic. The plumber has a big role to play in this match for sure. Hart goes off the boil if Kelsey Cook slows down with her scoring, then she's got to come to the party. Brilliant, brilliant blocking, really good spot by Marina Libyan. Time for Emiliano in the off season after three seasons with Scandici. Club the beat the Panthers in the league just recently, the only team to do so. Oh wow, that's a fearsome hit. And that is a very brave attempt to defend by Robin the Craft down the line. Stood her ground here against a 108 kilometer per hour spike. That's a proper hammer from Boscovic. Very nice response from Plummer. We can also go over that and keep smiling with her spikes. I think Caneliano are completely out of this set. It won't take much for them to find a few 
reserves and get into his last of you again. So the Turkish side have to be controlled here. That's a good pass from Brock. Another great block though. Wow, Lubia next to Plummer. All over Jack Kisal. And Marina Lubian is reading Maya Ogenovic like a book at the moment. She knew that ball couldn't go anywhere else except the middle. Great wall again, two cracking spots from Libya. Three points now. Oscarich taps it. Oh, brilliant, brilliant pick up from Di Gennaro. Oh, superb hit. I said Plummer has to get into this game, and she's got into this game. Really making her height count there. Gets the free net. He's handing to the corner pretty easily. Turn for Ferrat Akbach to put the time out. He will be monumentally frustrated with his team here. Really good coaching, really calm as well. Elite players know what they've done wrong. You can guarantee that the elite player pretty much knows exactly what's happened, what's gone wrong, what they need to do to sort it out. But it's nice sometimes to have a sounding board. Just to remind you and say to Jack yourself, you don't have to hit hard all the time. Just manoeuvre the ball into places where they are not defending. She goes. Immediately listened to. Good coaching, good response. And the Trinidad Tobago International puts it on the floor. And if she hadn't tried to hit that hard, it would have gone straight into the block of fun. Exactly what Ferhat Akbash was talking to his middle blockers about. If the space is there, use it. Lubian has used that brilliantly, just tapped it to five. And it was good enough to beat Hander. What a comeback by the Panthers. They did it all day yesterday against Prague Lubek. They're doing it here against Nazat Tabashu again. Good dig. Oh, what a rescue. Just out of play. That's a hell of a touch from Plummer on a hell of a hit from Boscovic. 110. Oh, and the faster you go, the louder will scream. Brilliant from Boscovic. Nearly up to her fastest shot of the tournament so far. Gennady, and down goes Kirk. It's a, a major problem for Catherine Palmer, but I think she took a fairly hard hit from that shot. What a nice job from the ever-reliable Alessia Gennady, the 30-year-old Italian wing spiker. Drops in. And the Nubian serve. 
into the net. She caused problems with it last time around. No problems at all for Isa Sabaccia this time. Oh, mid net. The celebration tells you all you need to know. The Turkish club wanted to see that one. Come back with their own firepower. Good pass from Kirk Tip. He's a forceful one from Hart. Brilliant defence from Simic. And Eliano still in the rally. Hart goes again. Chucks it. Straight down on the floor. Better Akbash is not happy with the referee about that. He's going to contend that this was thrown before the net was touched. But that piece of defence was just exquisite. Referee's decision. Heavy swing. And they knew what she wanted to do there, and as De Graaf just disappeared from her blocking zone, pummeled it as hard as she could, as steep as she could onto the hands. Very, very useful kill. And uh, well, I did. Changes being made. Stunning out here again. Made a, a good uh, contribution at the back end of the first set. See ya. soon on that occasion, so reverse that substitution. Laura Herman will come back in, and then Herman will be instantly replaced by Simbia Akash. The shouting to be done by the coaches in this kind of atmosphere, it's very difficult for the players to hear the coaches with the crowd in good voice. And another long serve. Kelsey Cook this time, the offender. Just when Corneliano have needed their serving, it's deserted them, and this is the woman that can finish the set right here, Tiana Boscovic. Brilliant hit. Free ball. Good dig. Really good dig from Cook. Oh, and a little slip from the crowd. She's very lucky she didn't get set the ball there. Let's hope she isn't twisted a knee or ankle. Just a bit of moisture on the court from one of the defensive plays. And she's trodden in that. And slips over. Oh, on, why is it? Now the back, and it means Boscovich gets another go of serving. Very well read by Boscovich. And a brilliant tick by Handek. We are going to four sets minimum. And it surely was always going to be the way in this contest. One more point required by Azaz Sebastian. I can't see them not getting it. Miracle comeback required by the Panthers in set two. The Tigers. Crowley. Dramatic finish. Does not happen. Here comes Alexa Gray. Canadian. I'm sure we'll be looking for her power hitter here. No, finds Jack this out, and it's good enough. And time at last for the Tigers fans to get on their feet. And the Antalya Sports Hall has turned a little bit orange there as Ezat Zabashi got it across the line. It's one set all in this terrific encounter. Certainly set with the nerves. The change ends now after two sets. 
first time at the 2022 FIBB Volleyball Club World Championships. We're going to go beyond three sets. To wait for day three. go potentially the distance 25 18 and Eliano commanding in set one Sasabashi is just as good in set two big win a big game here so slightly extended break between sets two and three chance the crowd to get a bit of merch Chucked into the audience. Love the atmosphere. Really, really wacky day. The Italian Sports Hall. Really, it's exactly what the fixture needed for his last fight to come back into it. Despite the very best efforts of Canelliano to Well, in the open set, side. So much your hosts this year. Two-time winners of the competition. They managed to win it back to back in 2015, 2016. They were having a really good time of it in Europe and in the Turkish League. Look at both sides attacking. Distribution. A lot more coming through the middle now. That would suggest the pass is improving. Reach three meters through, so three centimeters above the height. A basketball ring and the ball gets at 109 or 108 kilometers per hour by Boscovic. 110, there we go. It was wrong. They're starting to make a lot of points. Middle right side. That is worrying for Peneliano because it means Tana Boscovic is back into the mix. The pass for Zanzibar is definitely improving. There we go. It's as close as we thought it was going to be. There we go to set three with these two fantastic teams. Level pen. Well, it's all the Tigers fans wanted to see their team competing here. They blew Dentil Prague, blew Bay away on day one. Against Caneliano, it was always going to be a stiffer test. Caneliano, brilliant in the opening set. Great response from Sasebashi. Set two to level this game, and Tiana Boscovic has really come into her own now. And starting to throw the marker down against Huck. Boscovic on 11 points, Huck leads the scoring on 12. They might both rack up some big numbers today. This game could, could go to five. We will see. It's definitely going to four. Go again. What a treat. Set three, about to get underway. Enjoy. Top sits the host side, 
Zatsubashi here at the FIVB Volleyball Club World Championships, battling hard against the Italian team. Prosecco, Dokimoko, Caneliano, and their superstar opposite, Isabel Hart, drills one. First point. Good contact point at 3.07. That's the highest contact point we've seen off the net today. Not the fastest hit, that belongs to Boscovic, and that's rather set the tone for set three. The two opposites going to battle. Pass the block of Bowen, pass the defence of Plummer, one all. Put on cover, side hit it to Sir. See it in the eyes of the players, they are loving this. It's what this World Cup Championships is all about. It's love testing themselves with their club sides. And there's the Tigers fans, the faithful. Referee making a hell of a noise. Great shot. Well, and uh, Baladin, another one of these players that I'm sure those of you that have followed the Turkish women's international team over the last decade would have seen mature into a really good player. Hands on that one, nearly, nearly recycled. Kraus so still on, Lubian still on through the middle for Caneliano, which means Guachini and Furlan still on the bench. Alessia Gennari and Alexa Gray still on the bench. Catherine Plummer and Kelsey Cook out on the floor through those wing spiking positions with Borosh setting puck opposite. Good little chicken wing dig there from Huck, followed by a fearsome shot. Well, that's what your big players bring to matches, that's just insane. Huck with a super piece of defence, and Robin the Kraut, what a bump set. Nowhere near, and she's bumped in right on the plate for Huck to drill away. That's superb play. That's a great piece of defence as well, and Huck just a little unlucky that she's bumped that straight to Boscovich. Zatsubashi, incidentally. Now with Laura Herman and Jack Kinsal through the middle. Moronkova and Pandit in the wing spiker positions. Boscovich serving, playing opposite. Number 10, Maya Ogenovic obliges with a block on Plummer. That will not please Santanelli because he knows Plummer can go straight over the top of that block and she's hit straight into it. All subject to the set, of course, being in the right place, but straight in. And Eliano can see their two point lead the road four. Gennaro, there we go, just Palmer extending to full height, but well defended by Sibge. Just out from Bronkula. See our first video check here. No, I don't think Ferhat Akbash is too keen to check this. You can see it was wide, despite Bronkula saying it's in. So no video check, point lost. Puts Ogenovic under pressure. Pack with the tip, gets it down. Goes to 15 rather rapidly. I wonder how high she can go, how close will Huck get to 30 today? Same for Moskovic. He's got great awareness. He's through here on the sweep. Wide by Plummer. 
Well, one of those points where Bowash could have left this and Cook was probably in a good position to play it, but she decided to launch herself at it. Unfortunately, that took her out of the mix. System. Sense of putting the ball in the air and it just takes you out of tempo. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a proper hit. I just love that from Lubian. This is a straight down, old school, front of the setter hit. That is brilliant. That's what Marina Lubian can bring to the party. Real power. Good block. Good block. Jack Kissal has already been asked by her coach not to attack absolutely everything. Clearly felt there that there were gaps. It definitely were. But couldn't find the seams. Went straight into Cook. Good defence. Now Lubian too quickly off the floor again on the rebound. One of those games, is it? Where each set sees the team run away. Eliano's turn to create a very nice four point cushion timeout call by Ferhat Agbash. Second thing, the game still goes with the serve, okay? So in between, drop, follows, drop, cannot hold up. You need to start in front. Then she serve long is another subject, okay? Make sure drop balls better pass. They close your left hand. Chelsea goal, especially when exclamation set comes, left hand. Stay you up. try to make block out, long cross ball. For those of you that are new to the sport or just learning to play, some nice information there. A lot of hitters feel that a block out hits, so when you bounce it off the block and away to win the point, it's to be a line shot. You get a lot of success high to the far corner on the diagonal. We'll get a lot of block out success that way as a hitter. Exactly what Jack Kisal tried to do there, but Bowash is on hand to defend. She hits exactly the same slide ball again. That's a brilliant dig from Boscovic. Oh, that is just tremendous. Well, no touch, say Corneliano. That's the bash you feel this was their point. But don't seem too willing to go to the video check, do they? They would have lost it if they had. Trying to make it a three woman block. Just enough to force Boscovich wide. Five point lead. Terrific round. Brilliant defence. Overpass. Lubian can't beat the block. Nicely done by Ogenovic. Huck can beat it though, and beats the defence of Boscovic as well. She is rapidly on her way to 20 points, Isabel Huck. 16 now in the kit bag. 25 kilometres per hour, the hit, Boscovic on 13. The only two players in double figures at the moment, we've had it on 8. Another poor pass, but Onkova's getting a bit of a workout, and I think we might see a substitution very shortly. But Onkova out, probably Saliha in. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's time to put the claws up in front of the face. It's not easy to watch at the moment. Tigers fans. It's Simge. Just a bit too far. Well, a chance missed there from the service line. Plummer was trying to go for the new player on court, but she's missed her and he broke past it rather easily. Jack Kissar the serve then. It's a again being put to the sword here by Corneliano. 
a fashion a comeback. Terrific set to Boscovic, well defended though. Bowash tries to make the ball to Huck, and she somehow recycled it off the block. Another protracted rally. Boscovic nails it. There we go. Laura Hermans contribution to Belgium middle is the team cheerleader out there. If there's a point to be celebrated, she'll get on it. Terrific rally. Terrific celebration. Every team's got to have a player like that. a chance really good defense on Kelsey Cook and then puts the ball over the baseline the, well we, we say it a lot commentators the margins are very fine in sport they're incredibly fine in volleyball but you won't see the big players backing away from the challenge they'll keep going for their shots the touch ball a little too high from now Polwash gets it into play Cross court, that's a really clever hit. Long way out of system, long way off the net. The Americans have a really nice shot there. Former Toyota Queensy's player in the Japanese top league. It's Kelsey Cook, but was previously with Canelliano back in 2015 to 2017. So she knows the club and the, the area of the country and the fans well. She was offered a return. With open arms. Third season with Meliana, Catherine Plummer in her second season. What a balanced lineup of players who've been with Meliana for a while now. It makes it easier for the new additions to come in and make a difference. Isabel Huck, the most notable of those. Bit of a procession at the moment, isn't it? Two set four. Meliano keeping control of the game. Easy swing, good pass from Cindy. It's a great hit. It's not easy to come on from the bench and make plays like that. But Sully has done well there. Service line. He's down. Like the prof saw that ball arrive in front of her and thought, yeah, I can hit this really hard, and she did. Just cut around the side of the ball and sent it out over the sideline. with a bit of pressure now. There, Behat Akbash dream his team can come back into this. Wonderful block. Stovich hanging around forever there to make the play. Oops, 21 96. Six feet six tall. Ah, forced to tip straight into the block, but she'd already stepped on that attack line for the second time in the game. Canelliano losing points hand over fist and Daniele Santarelli is going to call a stop. That was a big football. Time out to the Panthers. And from complete control to a little bit of panic stations for the team in yellow. Started with that Robin de Kraft hit out. It can sometimes happen like that. You can lose a flow of points after what should have been a relatively straightforward side out. 
so the Tigers are on their way back. Salia with a good service run, decent pass from Cook, Huck out of the back line. And get it past Salia. Off the wing, and then has to drive it down to position one. Huck again from that back line position. It's the shot. Wasn't a lot of room to work with there, and she's threaded this down the line quite brilliantly. 100 kilometers per hour. Another player joins the Centurion Club in terms of the speed gun. as well goes into what she does on court nice really nice <laughs> and Laura Hammond gets to celebrate her own shot this time very good hit every bit as good as Lubian Serve. It's a brilliant pass though. This time the craft goes cross court to de be defended by Ogenovic. They're going to get another go at this. And they get a go with a massive shot through the middle again. This time it's Jack Pissar. Wow, what a shot. What a comeback by Azar Sebashi. to close the gap to one taken another terrific shot by Ander Baladin she has been brilliant in this third set very very different feel out there now Huge shot from Plummer. That's what she's capable of, Catherine Plummer. Really good attack at a watch in full flow. Kept the ball right in front of her and has just thundered it between the two defenders. So it's a great recovery, but there's some serious damage done on the scoreboard. Hit, well picked up by Huck. Give it as a down ball now. There is the chance to challenge this, which would see the point being replayed. This the whistle's gone here for the ball being on the floor. It's called. It is accepted by Caneliano without the challenge. Boscovic now to try and take her team into the lead. Lovely pass from Diginara. She's having a great game. And that's another great release through the middle. You see so many middle players running on that slide reverse ball that it's a breath of fresh air to see the middles hitting in front of the centre. Lubian, Jack Kisal, Laura Herman, all doing a great job with that particular skill. Brilliant, what a dig from Volosh, good positioning from the Polish setter. Well used by Plummer under pressure, but Zasabashi still in the rally. Boscovic into the hands, still alive. Oh, it's a cracking shot from Ogenovic, well picked up, and it's out. And Zasabashi win a very unlikely point. All sorts going on there. And to be honest, the Tigers should not have won that. Ogenovic's cleverly hit ball to position one to test Isabel Hart was the difference there. We're going to see a video check though. Of course, if the camera can prove the ball compressed and was in, all of its immaterial is centimetres wide. They're bouncing now in Antalya. They're bouncing for good reason. 
Dastabashu are on it. And they've forced their way back into this set. Way back round to Salia at the service line. She's done a really good job from the bench. Can't get to that though. Isabel Hart, too good. Hart must be nearly on 20 points with this kill. 18. Knocking on the door. Another big tally after 24 points in their opening game against Pride. They? it in it is well left pretty confidently there by Azasabashu but it's dropped like a stone from the Catherine Plummer serve it's an ace for a three-point lead it's not all about power and precision no wonder but Akash is annoyed with herself Timeout called by Ferhat Akbash just as her team were looking, or his team were looking like they were back in business here. Just impossible for teams at this level when both sets of players are firing. It's virtually impossible to run away with a match. There will always be points in a set where your opposition will push back and Zasabashu will push back hard. This is a good recovery now. Great swing, good recovery from Corneliano. Nice dig from Volos. Hack. Threads it down the line. Daniele Santarelli is delighted with his players. It's a good thing for Bosch. Yet again, another superb bump set. He's been hit out of court. There's a lot of positives about that rally. Corneliano not over the line yet. Good lead. Really good judgment from Catherine Plummer. Look at it though. Sasabashi, you're going to use a video check here. I think they'll be getting much from this. What a high serve, so by the time it dropped, it would have compressed a bit, but not enough. And in the end, that's well. So, little change up, in comes Ginari. To serve and play defence, the experienced Italian outside hitter, 30 years of age now. The blocking hands. Oh, wow, what a hit. I honestly thought that ball was a little bit too low for Boscovic, but her acceleration to get to the peak and make sure there was a hit available was stunning. Oh, that's brilliant hitting, brilliant setting from Ogenovic. Ah, can't put it away. It's too tight to the block, good reuse by Saliet. Zasabashi still battling. Salia gets the blocker's hands and away. That's a terrific kill from her. And again, the Panthers find themselves in a bit of trouble. Tigers charging. Yenovic to serve. Boscovic front court. Hart nails it. What a shot. What a set, not for the first time in this match. 
I'll watch against Ogjanovic. That's a nice matchup. Sweden's hug puts it on the floor. What has Serbia's Boscovic got? She's going to need to put a few away before the end of this set. But with that in mind, the blockers were not expecting that set to go to Laura Herman. It's a really good kill from the Belgian. Again, from in front of the setter on the three meter line. 304 is the contact point. That is stunning. It wasn't even full extension there. So we had to serve again. We've rocketed round another rotation. Oh, ho, ho. Robin de Kraut doesn't hit too many in front of the setter. And that was a double whammy. She has nailed this. What a hit. 23 21, Paneliano dealing with the pressure. And this time it's Herman that goes off the block. Set was red, and we've got a bit of a contest between the middles at the moment. Nicely hit off the Volosh. Serve. Still one point in it. Good call, good pass from Dijanado. Hack finds the angle away from Jack Casal. It's not an easy ball to hit that. 20 points comes up for Isabel Hack, along with set point. Two of them for Caneliano. Some really good decisions being made here by the setters. Bian back in to come to the front court. Alexa Gray goes to the service line. The Canadian to serve and play defence. Just like the last set, pretty sure we know who she's going to have to defend. Boscovic. Here she comes. And there she goes. Remarkable from the Panthers. And a brilliant finish to the set for the Italian club. Caneliano lead Ezazabashu here in Antalya by two sets to one. It's been a brilliant game to watch. been a terrific volleyball match and it's just a reminder why we love this FIBB Volleyball Club World Championship so much it just delivers this kind of drama so good to see the international superstars working with their club sides and this one has been a cracker 25-18 and any other the first set it's after back to bounce back 25-21 very tightly contested third. He's won by the Panthers, 25-22. Here in Turkey, that's the Italian club that leads the hosts. At the very best efforts of Tiana Bosnich. Take a look at the scoring situation for you. Up on 20 points now, Boscovic is 16. The only other player into double figures is the Plummer. So far, he's managed to buy 10 points from the game. With Pandit and Cook on 9 apiece. And Lubia having a great game through the middle. She's on 9. Jack Gisal, Detroit, two more middles, scoring heavily there on 8 apiece. Tail of the tape, and this is a mighty close affair, I can tell you. It will remain so, surely, as we head into set four. First game that's gone beyond three sets here in this Club World Championships in our tunnel. Now, let's take a look at the passing. 
Sassabati has not quite been as tidy as uh, Corneliano. Still quite a lot of balls going into that perfect zone, that green zone that allows the centre to open up all sorts of options in offence. 48% of the passes going there, but there's confirmation of just how good Corneliano have been. And I have to say, a lot of that is to do with Libro Monica Di Gennaro. 58% is a terrific number at this level. Shimjik, big favourite with the fans. Both of these Libros really popular in World Volleyball. game and the entertainment I'm glad to say continues as we head into set four it's Canelliano the lead though <laughs> last year's runners up at the FIVB Volleyball Club World Championships in the yellow gets set for underway. The Panthers of Corneliano up against the Tigers in white. The Turkish club, Zasabashi in Istanbul. It's the two superstars that go into battle again. Boscovic fires a 101.5 kilometer per hour rocket to open proceedings in set four. But it's the team in yellow that lead by one set to love now. They think this court. Kelsey Cook on the way off the block. Let's have a look. It did. Pinger on the knee. Officials spotting that despite the right smile from Cook. Oh, good comeback. Really good comeback this from Azatabachu. Not quite on the money with the set from Ogjanovic. And it's given the opportunity for the craft to kill it. Miss there from the Turkish side. She's brilliant. <laughs> She's brilliant, the crumb. Wide eyed, looking around. To say to everybody alongside her, what, what's just happened? The dig from Cook deep in the court. Huck out of the back line, slaps it hard down there. Lindsay couldn't quite defend it. Canelliano's point of view have been conceding quite a big lead in set two, the set they lost. I would imagine they'll be trying to keep pace here with Azar Sabaci. That's Dick from Saliha, who incidentally has started ahead of Veronkova. And the tip is blocked very handily. Plummer at two metres and one. Inside the craft at 193, that's a tall block. That is a brilliant piece of work from the American. I think the Panthers in yellow are going to try and stick them close here. Just take it deep, scores close, and then they know they'll have as us about you under pressure. And that's a brilliant serve. Not something you see very often at all. Shimji Arkos beat from the service line. Right down that seat between the two passes from the prop. And she find another. It's four. That's such a good pass. Huck goes comfortably into the twenties now. Oh, 
Dorsch to serve, which means that Isabel Hack has made her way to the front court. Good dig for Wash encouraging Cook to play that ball so she could get to the net. Cook needs to play it again. Goes to Hack on the reverse. And Hack just rolls it over the top of the block and in front. Silly how the defender. Nice set options and good distribution from Bosch. Patient there for their two-point lead. This is useful for the Italian side. Captain Bosch to serve again. So close. And once more, the value of having an opposite player that can put balls away out of system. Oskovic has done it again. Very good today. It's a good tip. Really good tip from Huck. And that's what I mean about the 23 year old Swede really thinking her way through matches. She does a lot of good things under pressure. Settles quite there to hit. She used it well. Of the hit. What a piece of defense from Monica Di Gennaro. And finally, Pandit gets her point. Two really terrific hits. The director getting fooled by the fact that Saliha and Pandit look very similar. Now I've been caught out, brilliant. <laughs> and with the serve. No fans, no support in the crowd. And a touch from Bowash. Oh, it's a brilliant swing. That's such a good kill from Kelsey Cook. Oh, she lined that one up for fun. two blockers as well and they were well formed Lubia serving well in this game nice pass good reactions from Canelliano superb hitting the wing spikers are, are going to town in set four Hande, Salia, Cook nailing some terrific shots. Belgian middle blocker, Laura Hammond is served. So this tip, a little ankle tweak for Kelsey Cook. She's okay, because I'm afraid of the rigors of the game but if you land a little awkwardly turn your ankle and they stick, stick she's okay i'm about to say she'll be very reluctant to come off court in this match it's a humdinger she just got into a really hot patch of hitting I not really need Hutt to produce a few serves here. It's a good hit. Saliha deals with it. Kisao runs a, an expansive reverse. Hutt from the back line. Gets her foot placement exactly right. Sneaks up as close to that attack line as she could. And then launches. Some really good height for a wing spiker that's not to all. Now, this is still right. We are patient, okay? Patient. The rest is fine. One thing we need to get better. Sir, please, sir. Better to the right. Let's. Yeah, Akbash. 
calling the timeout for the Tigers. And as you heard from him there, he wants a higher risk of serve. You, you have to take risks at this level. It's no good just knocking the ball into play. It comes back with interest. You have to go for serves. goes Huck again. Oh, it's a brilliant serve. It's exactly what her team needed, and she's come to the party. And to do this off the back of a timeout is no mean feat. It's a horrendous serve to pass. Skimmed the top of the net, and was as flat as you like. Cannonball of a serve, brilliantly passed into the antenna. Salia with the error. Well, he might be just thinking about whether Irina Vronkova needs to come back into the action. Salia has had a good run. But it's just getting tough out there. Perfect from Hunt. Easy pass from Shinji. And that's a good comeback. Here we go. That's why coaches don't, don't jump too quickly. They, they trust their elite players to get the job done. So he has whipped that off the wall and block. That's a really good hit. He's our, he's our matey again. He enjoyed that one. Captain Plummer's judgment today on serve has been really excellent. Anything that's been flirting with the baseline and out, she's left. the risk that the coach was talking about for Azar Sebastian. They've got to go for the service. Love it. Finding out from Jack Yusa. It's all good at the moment for the Panthers in yellow. Canelli are not. Not too soon. Overpass. He's dispatched. Right. Jack Kisal, another player that's spent a bit of time in Japan playing for the wonderfully named Dead So Airy Bees. Signed for them from Galatasaray, where she was previously playing for, uh, in the Turkish League. Good recycle. Well, passes. Then runs the slide and again recycle. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, Maya Ogenovic, I think she's mad with herself there. It was a great idea. Good recovery. Excellent play. And then as this ball comes in, brilliant diving deep dig from Salia. And as that, as that ball came in, Jack Casal did run a good line. But Ogenovic missed it. Cover from the middle blocker. Boskovic, I heard a lot from her in this set. Put it away first time of asking and misses on the second time of asking. And it goes. Santarelli's team moving away from the Turkish side. That's mighty close. If it's in, it will be a compression and it will be a millimetre of the ball touching the line. This is going to be very close. Oh, goodness me. Instead, it's a millimetre the other way. It's out. It's a great call from the officials, isn't it? No lines judges in place, technology to be relied on. The officials don't need some call about. Got it. Bang on. Craft to serve, five point lead for Caneliano. Beautiful. Well, the match is not done yet. Moskovic may still have a role to play. She's taken herself to 20 points with that kill. Six points behind Isabel Huck, who leads the scoring. Plummer's on 11, Cook's on 11, Hande on 10, Jack Kissel on 10, De Cruyff on 10. There's a lot of players into double figures. Yapra is in. Or is that Sebastian? So, 
big shot from Plummer. Nearly decapitates Jenovic. That's the problem with defending down the line. The blockers are cross court. They tend to leave you rather exposed, and she's done very well to get her head out of the way there. Just a glancing blow. What happened to Canelliano in set three was they lost a bit of service rhythm and back came Turkish side. In set two, they were right back in it and they started to miss serves. They don't want to give Azarsabashu any encouragement here. Brilliant defence from Boscovic. Nice chop down the line, that's clever hitting from Hande. Before the storm, Tigers fashion a comeback here. Nope, not if uh, Corneliano keep playing like that. Kelsey Cook with another great block. He's had a good game today, the American Kelsey Cook. That's a lovely one-on-one -on -one stop on Laura Hammond. Timeout called. Zasabashi coach for Akbash. Eliano away and clear. Just try to make it. Block out from line. Oh, these cuts are really working good. It's still the same case. We need to pass this. Right, let's. Quite look at the races, uh, Tiana Boscovic today. As uh, Sebastia lose this one, they're still going to be going up against the team they beat convincingly a couple of weeks ago in the Turkish League. They beat them 3-0. They'll be playing them in the semi-final. They'll be playing the winners of our next game. An issue of Kazakhstan against Minas in Brazil. Minas favourites for that match. Canelia, I know favourites now for this one. She's good in the cheap. Did you know that? <laughs> not, that not that you needed to be told that. One of the best Leroes in the world. Putting on a bit of a masterclass. On serve reception, particularly today. down the line it's been given in Skovic with another kill and they're, they're going to check this Santarelli wants to know what check is for the players will have to tell him in or out or has it touched the antenna on the way certainly flick the net on the way down the line he's, he's enjoyed himself now isn't he Santarelli wears his arm, heart on his sleeve. He's the Italian coach of this Canelliano team. Let's have a look. Looks in. Looks in and uh, Monica Di Gennaro's initial reaction was that he's in. Love it. There you go. When the big players talk to the refs, the refs listen. The opposition challenges doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be your point. Esquacini served well in yesterday's match. It's great living. The woman that's just come onto the court played well as well. This Gennari was called upon towards the end of that match. Did a really good job. 
Hande Balari to serve. Five points in it. For Ezasabashi to try and claw back. It's a good dig from Boscovic, nicely positioned on high. Superb. Oh, that's just brilliant. Wonderful. Wonderful volleyball all around. Shimdi Akos with an amazing dig on the open hit. The Libro launching herself at the ball. Lubian defended once, and then what does Volwash do? Just gives it to her again. There you go, hits it harder. in this set that's the play <laughs> by the magician Maya Ojenovic he's got some tricks as the 38 year old setter so change is happening and Saliha is finally sent back to the bench, in comes Irina Voronkova, I think the number six has done a good job though, for Zasavashi. Too long. Well, it's always tricky, they, they say in football, soccer, never make a, a substitution for a corner or a free kick in your own half. It's tricky when you make a substitution before one of your own services. On her way to 30 points for the match. Tests Veronica was passed instantly. That's a good hit. Probably a good plan to leave the ball, but then you have to actually leave it. Rather than just get hit by it. Hit. That's really accurate from Gennady. Oh, from Cook, sorry. Into the corner. Comes Gennady. Back in comes Plummer. They need her height in front court. That's a phenomenal shot. Right into that far corner. And then Cook shoves the serve in the net. Well, Huck stranded on 26 points, Boscovic on 22 now, Cook on 14, Plummer on 12. Top scorers in your game today. Nicely done. Very stable hit from Plummer and... Boscovic just uh, tweaked her shoulder there. It's quite an unstable position when you're reaching high up in the air like that to block. Staying in it, Andy earns herself another point. She goes to 15 on the scoring charts. Well, I talked about Hazard Sebastian being so brilliant in game one and installing themselves as favourites if they beat Paneliano today, but it's the opposite that is true. Paneliano certainly amongst the favourites now with this performance. They move to six match. Oh, watch with the serve. Front line goes up against Hande. By Gennaro. And a very good finish by the Panthers. And in the battle of the big cats. It's the Panthers of Corneliano that down the Tigers of Azastavasi. A really good game of volleyball and a very good performance from the Italian side. Looking to go one better than their runners-up spot last year. They're going to have to wait for the result of our next game. Gerdau Minas against Kiwanis Club to see 
which team they will play in the semi-finals. But for uh, Ezar Sebastia, they know their fate. They will be taking on their Turkish league rivals, Vakti Bank, in Saturday's Final Four showdown. There we go, confirmation of that final result. 25-18, 21-25, 25-22, 25-18. .25, to get it across the line in four sets. Corneliano beat Ezar Sebastian. Three sets to one here in Italia. So that means that uh, Corneliano will top Portal A with two wins from two. Sebastian's victory over Ventil Kray Klube becomes important yesterday. That leaves him in second place in qualification. Let's take a little look at the spike placement of the Turkish club. Not very often spike placement is about what the block will allow you to do, what the defence positioning is. Variation there across the court. They've, they've planted the ball in a lot of different areas. Those attacks. From uh, Corneliano's point of view, well, if there was a seam to hit, they hit it. They hit a lot of balls deep as well and over the top of the block. Those uh, green shots were winners. The grey balls very successfully returned. Thought. Uh, Sebastian had a good defensive game today. Really impressive. Kept recycling the plays, but in the end, they are not proving too strong for their Turkish hosts. Great start to day three. It's a win for Caneliano. And we got more fantastic action on the way. Next up on the show court, about an hour's time. Good Alminas against Kiwanish. Stay with us here on Volleyball TV. Confirmation then of the final result and confirmation of the game that we've got coming up for you. Brazil's Gerdaminas will take on Kiwanish Club for a place in the semi finals against uh, Vakif. That will be against, sorry, the winners of Pool A, which are the North Corpaniliano. So the right to play the Italian club in the semi finals. For Izazabashu, they are the team that have to face. Their rivals, the winners of Pool B, Baki Bank. Turkey v Turkey then in one semi final. Confirmation of that final score line. It was a really solid performance from Caneliano in the end, put under severe pressure. That's it for more action on the way.